To determine melting point, we will be using the SRS Digimelt. This device allows us to determine the melting point range of a solid. The melting point of a substance is always given as a range. Place the open end of the capillary tube into your sample several times, loading it with a little less than half a centimeter of sample. If you have too little sample, you will not get an accurate result from the Digimelt. Repeatedly drop your capillary tube closed end down through a drop tube until your sample is at the bottom of the capillary. Place the capillary tube into the Digimelt. The Digimelt holds three samples at a time. Three groups should go at once so that everyone will finish in a reasonable amount of time. Turn on the Digimelt and adjust your settings. Find the accepted melting point value for your substance and set the starting temperature 30 degrees lower. Set your final temperature 10 degrees higher. Set the ramp rate at 5 degrees per second. The Digimelt operation instructions can also be found on the front of the machine. Have your lab record ready, then start the Digimelt. The temperature will rise slowly and you can view the sample through the lens on the front. Watch the sample carefully. When you first see signs of melting in your sample, write the temperature down. Once the sample is fully liquid, write down that value. These values make up your melting point range. Dispose of used capillary tubes in the broken glass container. Remember to turn off the Digimelt if you are the last group to use it.